area. And we're going to recover from that uh, last crash and continue on. Start game, road one. So the last time uh, we were there, or I was there, I was heading towards that uh, heart. Ouchie, ouchie. Oh, I guess I could jump from down from there. Oh well. Oh, and there, there was that um, that slime. That's what that's what did it to him for me. So one strategy towards, um, I don't know why the game's crashing, but if you notice your game is crashing a lot like I am, like my game's crashing, just, uh, it auto I think it automatically saves when you exit out of the, uh, game, so. I wouldn't let the, uh, oh no, worst place to, oh, piranhas, oh, let me, all right. There I go, I'm dead again. Let's see if the game crashes. Alright. Yeah, so just uh, exit out. I mean, unless I find something significant where, you know, I can't progress any further. Um, I'd say this is a pretty, pretty good game. Pretty top-notch. I just like it because it's, um... I think when it's doing that little spinny thing, it's saving, or something's going on. Yeah, I just like it because it's, I mean, there's... You got the different music going on. They really mixed in a lot of good stuff into this game. I mean, they really care about, you know... It's kind of like there's something new. It keeps you hooked into it, basically. Um, so yeah, we're going to that that heart. I wonder if my mine shaft is still is still there. Oh, there's a little mouse. So yeah, I think the, uh, as I was saying, the only thing that would really turn me against this game is if there's something that is totally preventing me from, um, from, um, continuing. Like, there's no way to get past it, basically. At this point, I'd say it's pretty solid. There's the heart. Oh, and then I was digging, I remember, I was digging this little trench thing. And there's tons of little things I'm noticing, like auto-aim, there's definitely, I don't know if the game has auto-aim, I'm just not good at it. I mean, that's always a possibility that, that the game already comes with, auto, comes with its auto-aim, and I have just, need, I need to just keep working at the game, but, uh, Oh, I see what's going to do. It's going to cover all this. So I better... Um, that actually was pretty good that it, uh, it kind of saved me. I would have missed all the stuff. Not a lot of stuff, but still. And then there's... Let's see what else is down here. Before I release the... Uh, whoop. 
I think from a technical skill, um, I would like to know where this... Oh, that would be... That would be nice. Um, if you can choose your own cloud backup save, that would be, that would be cool. Just, just a thought. Like if you could, you know, select like one drive or Dropbox to save to. I don't know, maybe the Google thing is easier to implement. Hmm. So I don't want to cover that. Um. I guess what I'll do then is I'll seal this chamber. So yeah, I'll seal this chamber. Yeah, I'm glad it's give give me a chance to look at this again. Well, that's not a lot of water to be honest, but still, a lot of water in this game is a lot of water. <laughs> or not a lot of water in this game is, is a lot of water. What's this? Great bricks. That's those sort of things. Weird. <laughs> this guy's making a whole bunch of great bricks. Okay, so I want to. There we go. And just to make sure. I don't think that happens in this game, but you never know. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Ah! Did that work? Yeah, good. I guess another thing that would be nice... I shouldn't be saying this. I, I should go on her forums and say that stuff. I guess I'm saying it here because, um... Because I, uh... I'll let somebody else go on the forums and say it. If it's, if it's really that good. If it's not, then who cares? Um, but, uh... A way for the heart containers... Not, not... I, I understand why they're not using them up right away because, you know, you, I think you might be able to share them with other people. Which is good. I mean, it's really nice. But maybe, like, an option where if you're, you're, you're in a uh, single-player game, it automatically uses the uh, item if you select it. If you, you know, toggle in the option so you don't have to use it. But there's no heart. I gotta figure out what all these wars are, how to use them and everything. I know there's a way to make better weapons. Just haven't gotten that port point yet. What is this? Oh, silver war, okay. There we go. What's this up here? I need a... Where's my torches? Do I need an axe down here? I don't need an axe. I'll just do that. And then I can put blocks there.
So, it's not really flooding there in the important areas, but... Oh. So I kind of want to go up there. Um... system up here too. Snake. What is that up there? Wow, what was that? That's a long distance. <laughs> I'm sure there's a way to make a better pick. I'm sure I've got all the awards right now. Let's see. Oh, there's a something to look out for. Get rid of all this stuff. system down here. Whoa, what's that?
Okay. Is this a... Uh... Well, that's just dirt. That's what I want to go to. I was reading somewhere that um, this game, uh, because I, I know the uh, Android version is like um, 1.2 or something, and you know, the other, or something like 2.2, 1.2, I don't know. Um, but um, I think I was reading that the, um, the full, you know, the, the computer version is. Um, like 2 or 3.0 or something like that, but they've got like a, a way to automatically switch to um, the most efficient weapon or item. Like if you're attacking a skeleton, it wouldn't do it with a pickaxe, it would do it with your uh, sword. But uh, yeah, that'd be kind of nice if, that, if there was some... I like that uh, you can automatically you know, climb up stuff for you. I'm not pressing any keys to get up there, I'm just going, you know, right and left. I like that. But yeah, just, uh, the way, you know, the ability to automatically switch, like, instead of me switching toward to my, um, sword when I was killing that skeleton here, you know, once I do that, it should, you know, automatically hold, have my, uh, like, right now, like, instead of using my pickaxe, have it use the sword. I don't know. I think, it, you know, it's just because, you know, like, on a keyboard, I'm sure they have, like, these are all, all mapped, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 on the keyboard on your computer. But for me, I have to use right and left. So I have to go either that or, you know, need to more, be more efficient. I need to, like, put this next to the sword or, or whatever. But. Hmm. I don't know. But that's how... They already... They're, I, I think they're already doing that. So, it's not a matter of... Maybe there's... Maybe the options there, I just... Need to toggle or something. Yeah, I like... I mean, I like it. It sounds like... Like, when I found out they, that they're, um, they had that option, you know, that's pretty good. Very, um, innovative. That's one of the things I like about, like, Factorio, is, um, I think the game is just so innovative. Yeah, but it'd be nice if Factorio, or Factorio, or... Factory. I forget what that game's called. Or how, how do you pronounce it? Factor. I know. I I I, I didn't forget what the name's called. I mean, it's Factoria or Factoid or something. It's a game about uh, conveyor belts. Very bland game, but the way that they introduced the concept of automation is is spot on. I mean. I didn't see any pr issues with it at all. I think the only issue I really see in it is that they have a lot of recipe, just a whole lot, bunch of recipes. But that's that's the whole point of that game is it's basically about uh, recipes. And they also later on in the game they make it easier for you to put down like they have blueprints and stuff. So that's something I really liked about it. You know, you could take the design and you could reproduce it over and over again and not only that you didn't have to put all those items down there you, you didn't have to put the items on the template you had robots doing that for you so that the combination of, of the templates 
and the um, robots uh, made it very, uh, very nice, very futuristic. Um, and one of the things I noticed about this game, just uh, the last time I was in the uh, crafting system, is that you don't have to progressively craft an item to get to something. Like, I noticed that at first I was kind of wondering, like, do I have to build the the sticks before I build the um, the furnace? But no, you don't. It's on, it automatically crafts the tiers up to the item that you want. So that's real. That's a really nice design. Um, and like Minecraft, um, Minecraft, you know, the guy realizes that it's this is the first of a generation of that type of you know construction. You know, except unless you count like Starcraft or something. I mean, there are, there are tons of games that were... What, what am I... What is this thing? What is that? I don't even know what that is. What is this thing? I've been, like, picking at it for... Who knows how long. That's where I need uh, better weapons. But no, Minecraft, I mean, even though it's... There's... I mean... Gaming is always going to be innovative. I look at tribes like kind of an innovation of um, tribes like uh, Star Siege tribes as kind of an innovation of you know that game where you're both you know on the ground troops type. It's all first person shooter for, for one thing, but it's also um, co it combines. And I know you know the. The fan base didn't really consider. Well, actually, the strikes were very useful in, in those matches, but he didn't like them in like uh, like in those you know, kind of free for all combats. You know, basically, unless you're like in a in one of those leagues. I forget what they're called, OGL, whatever it's called. Um, Open game, game league, I think it's called. Um, it's kind of funny, I still remember that to this day. Um, or T TSR, whatever the other one was. But, like, unless you're in, like, one of those leagues, the, uh, whole each of the strikes are kind of frowned upon. But, uh... But, yeah, that, I mean, that was innovative. Being able to be both in the air, having the choice of being in the, both in the air, and on land, in addition to that, you know, setting stuff up on the ground, it's kind of like, almost like, um, like Star Siege. Or not, I mean, like, uh, not Star Siege, what am I thinking of? Like, um, what's that game? Starcraft, yeah. Like Starcraft, where you're putting stuff down, turrets and stuff. Well, not really, but, I don't know. I don't know of an FPS where you put down the stuff down. So that was a total dead end. Um, this is But yeah, you know, innovation is just bound to happen. It's, you know, it's really nice that independent developers are able to now pick through the uh, fruit of, um, of being able to take an idea that and, you know, put it put it down on, you know, put the concept down into, um, oh, I don't know, what, what would you say? Um, just really, like, uh, uh what, what am I trying to say? Just, you know, mm, let me take care of the bat first. There. Make it practical, or... I don't know, that's late. <laughs> I'm not thinking right. Um, but anyway, yeah, so so why did I get into the subject of that? Um, well, yeah, so... It's, that was a new game. That was new to the era of um, crafting-type games. And because of that, obviously to get the developer, the team and Notch, I'll just call it, because I don't know, I know, I know Jeb, but... Uh, 
Um. Um. Yeah, the guy that originally funded the uh, notch or found the funding to uh, pre produce the. Uh, what is this thing? Oh god, it's something to kill me. Oh, it's a prana. What the hell? The prana's belong in the water, that's why you're dead. <laughs> um. But yeah, so he, you know, he couldn't figure out, figure every, you know, think of everything. So, of course, um, I think I don't think the game does like all back here crafting. But what's an example in Minecraft that would need that? Um, I can't think of anything really. I think what I'm going to do right now, though, before I go too far, is I'm going to exit and just. So none of that stuff gets wiped or anything. I guess I'll s look into the, um... Um... What is... I mean, I don't know, but... I stopped playing that game, um... After it became... After the food thing came in. Is when I mainly stopped playing that game, and... I'm glad this game doesn't have a hunger system. That, um... I was against the idea because I liked it simple. I liked it when it was really simple. And I know this game isn't really simple, but at least it doesn't have a hunger system. I don't like all the building up stuff. Like overlapping more and more stuff into your game. It's... You know, I don't play... I, I wasn't into Quake because there were, like, the original Quake, I don't know what it does today, but, like, the one that you played on, not DOS, disc, disc operating system. I'm a tech, I'm a, uh, I'm a, uh, IT professional, so I have to, that's what I did throughout my entire, uh, education, is I went through acronyms. Acronym hell, you'd call it that. <laughs> um... So yeah, it just comes natural that I'm just going to call, read the, um, describe the acronym by, if I know it, by the full name. Um, but, um, what was I doing? I forgot. Um, I don't even know why I'm talking about this stuff. Um, or how, how did I even get on the subject of it? That's what I want. Up there. Oh, flaming arrows. I want a better pick. How do I how do I even make a pick in this game? Oh my gosh, how do you make a pick in this game? What would happen if I lost my pick? Is it down here? Um, oh that's I can't build a pick? I don't get that. What would happen if I lost my pick right now? How would I make it? That's nice. How do I build a make picks in this game? Oh man, so many questions. Um I think I have to discover it, but I don't know. I have to Google it. <laughs> Sick. I have to Google how to, how do you make picks? Let's see, Terraria pick. There we go. Hmm, copper. Oh, there are different ones. Um, I have to make the bars. That's what it is. How do I get there? Get more 
Oh, yeah, that's for sure. Is it going to rain? Um... What's in this? have in my inventory right now. I made I made all those silver bricks. That's what that's a problem. That's the problem right there. Did I see that's the E problem? Yeah that's that's definitely a problem. Maybe I need to talk to one of those guys. my copper pick. Thank you. 
I don't know. Let me do this. I'm gonna. Did I already do this? Sorry. I don't know. Look at options. Well, I guess. I thought there was a, <laughs> an option to uh, switch to the weapon when you're fighting a slime or something. Alright. Still not seeing it. I wonder if the uh, different pickaxes exist. Hmm. on Android.
weird. Um, I must be missing something. Oh, maybe I need a hammer? Oh, maybe the, the hammer... I don't know. Weird. Goggles, some of that sort. This is the same. What's that? <laughs> sure looks like that. Um, let me think. Remember, I could build, um, hmm. So, wood platforms. I must be missing something. That's what it is. Is this an anvil? Oh, I need an anvil. Or is, how do you make an anvil? That's not an anvil. That's a furnace. Okay. I get it now. I just looked it up. <laughs> what? What am I saying? Okay, so an anvil. How do you build an anvil? Oh, I just read somebody threw away their, uh, their copper pickaxe. And they don't have any of this stuff. So they can't mine. Whoa. <laughs> Yikes. Um, I just start over again. Oh wow, you can go on multiplayer. <laughs> that's, what, that's what the guy's suggestion. Um, or just make a wooden pick and get some iron from that. Oh, you can buy me. Okay. Um, an anvil. Okay, so where's an anvil? That's what this game needs also, is built in Wikipedia. 
That would be, you know, that's what game, these games, they should, uh, that should be the next thing. Just so you don't have to, uh, consult the, uh, internet. You can do it while in the game, that'd be kind of neat. I don't know. Somebody did something like that for, uh, Minecraft. Built a, uh, a, um, a way to look things up. I thought that was pretty cool. I, I took it, because at that time there was just too much stuff. I was, um, when we were doing the pots and stuff. So, so I guess, yeah, I have played, I played a little bit of Minecraft afterwards, but not, I wasn't heavily into it after uh, the food thing. Hunger system. So, I need an anvil. How do I build an anvil? That's a workbench. That's a furnace. Where do have that? I have that. That'd be kind of neat. Hmm. Not finding that. We have to stand here. 